we are Steve and Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show. We answer that and more. Steve and Jill here. Hi. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Steve and Jack Butz. Hello. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from the Valley of the Sun. <laughs> Today, Jill and I, well, it's Jill Friday. She's going to talk about our Land Academy community and how it provides 24-7 support. Cool. Before we get into it, let's take a question. <laughs> yes. Posted by one of our members on the landinvestors.com online community. It's free. Hey, check out parcelfact.com. We spent a lot of time and money uh, consolidating ParcelFact and NeighborScoop into one great product. Uh, it's cheaper, it works better. And mobile it, friendly. And by, yeah, mobile friendly and by leaps and bounds. It's the best product out there for exactly what we do, which is uh, we're on the phone with the seller. I need to find this property and see if I want to take it to the next step. State, county, APN, I'm looking at it and that's all I need for my due diligence. It's awesome. Yep. Corey wrote, hoping to get some advice on what to do. My wife and I are getting ready to send off our first mailer. She'll be listed on the offer since she's going to be primarily, primarily handling the phone calls. After Googling her name, the top results are news stories and pictures from 2020. Oh my gosh, that she just happens to have the same name. Yep. About a woman con artist and scam artist who, oh no, who shares my wife's name. Does anyone have any suggestions about what we should do? We thought about using her middle name, and I wouldn't have thought of this, by the way. This is brilliant oh, that I, you did. I didn't think about Googling that ahead never of time. Ever Google well, your Googled name? Well, I Googled myself, <laughs> and we well, you know it's funny. I, you're not a felon? No, I'm definitely not a felon, and I'm not that Dutch woman a long time ago. <laughs> there was a Dutch woman in Holland because of the last name DeWitt, and I got her she's so pushed down on the list now she's probably on page 23 of google i don't know what it is but she got pushed way down so funny anyway but does anyone have any suggestions about what to do we thought about using her middle name but i wasn't sure if uh what other issues could this cause we created linkedin to associate her name with the business but it gets buried amongst the other articles oh man this what? there's another steve Buscella good out. thing Just to check it before i answer this there's another yeah. steve Buscella out the there Chicago. and he's like a phd in physics or something like that and he's a professor and so and we talked to each other once time we're the only two that i know that it's, his middle initial is the same as mine yeah. too so we've had he, bank stuff screwed up he, that. he makes me look good like what? He's, he, he's like crazy intelligent right <laughs> uh my, I'm not, it, my answer is not going to be you're not going to like it what's your answer change the name on the mailer you don't need anybody not even one single person googling mm -hmm this and seeing the word scam right. you just don't need it yeah or put your name on it or uh i like the middle na name idea uh, put both or, your names on it or maybe both their names or um because then who answers the phone you you're what? both listed honest this is you know i don't know what your comfort level is with this but considering consider creating another name for, for your wife where it's not jill dewitt it's what did you have an alias like jill beach or something like that oh i did use know? that for a while that's true that's a long time ago jill and, beach and google that and make sure it's not all bad mm -hmm. today's topic is jill friday she's going to talk about how our Land Academy community provides 24-7 support. This is the meat of the show. This topic um, was because we were talking in the kitchen, as we often do our uh, high-level <laughs> <laughs> corporate Jesus. partner meetings. They are Jesus. often in the mornings in the kitchen, where there's a big island in the middle of us, and there's lots of coffee. There's pajamas and nobody's shaved. And yeah, uh, we're probably got breakfast going. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's what we did like this morning, talking about topics. Because all of our children have left our house as of last week. Thank God. We can do this now. <sighs> so maybe there's pajamas, maybe there's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole other show. <laughs> so back to the topic. Yes, Whew. thank goodness. We can all breathe now. Anyway, Jack was asking me, hey, on your live broadcast that you did last week, what the heck at the end was making you cry? And I said, it's our people. I was talking about our community and how they are. Well, what was really first making me cry was as I'm signing off and kind of ending it, you know, 
you all were popping in, giving me love, saying, you know, how much you appreciated it. And, you know, the little thanks for all you guys do and those kind of remarks. And it just it makes me cry because all I do is I'm like, God, we have such an amazing community. We really do. And this community there's so much giving because, and I'm a huge fan of this and I, I, you're in land Academy. You are too. The more you give, the more you get back. You help one person, five people are going to help you, you know, kind of thing. And that's who we are. So our community is amazing. And the 24 seven came from, cause we have people all over the world that are, or logging on all times of the day, you know, some people have crazy, crazy shifts. Some people have kids. Some people are up at 4 a.m. reviewing deals. I was talking about this on the live thing. So if you're up at 4 a.m. because you have to get to your job and be there at 7 a.m. or whatever it is, and you got kids to get going and you need an hour to review your deals, you know, before you start your day, you're probably not alone. And if you have some questions, you can probably pop them in at 4 a.m. Fill in the blank. It starts. Time this zone. starts at four o'clock in the morning. Well, probably 20. Day. Well, I really think it's 24/7 because again, we have around the world people. Mm -hmm. So maybe you get home at midnight and you're reviewing deals uh, because you work that kind of a shift, swing shift or whatever that is. You're home at midnight, 1 a.m. and this is my time. I'm jacked up and I need to do stuff and get then get a good sleep and get my emails out. You know, all the people that are waiting to hear from me, you know, for the morning. So you could probably 4 a.m. midnight, fill in the blank, reach out in Discord and find other people in there, your community, which is your people. It's closed for Land Academy people uh, or in landinvestors.com. You know, we're still there too. And get your questions answered. And the so that's the one part, the 24-7 part. But the other part of this, which is even more important, is just the power of this community. And if you have not yet experienced our Thursday member call, that's really where you see it. You know, every single week someone will say, you know what, uh, I live right by there, I'm happy to look at that for you. Like, wow, how nice is that? Or I just mailed uh, a couple counties over and I had one of those situations and here's how I dealt with it. It's probably the same in that state or, you know, fill in the blank kind of thing we're always not and it's not just us so you know who we are right this is what we're doing right now every day we're here answering your questions and helping and providing you know feedback and experience our experience to to help you but there, and we talk about this often too there's always someone you know six months ahead of you and there's always someone six months behind you yep in in our community and I think because of us, we started off that way. That's the whole thing about land academies. We really do want you to be successful. That's our underlying theme. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure you are successful. You just got to let me know, by the way. I don't want you to go dark on me. If you've really got some problems and you're not reaching out, I mean it. Reach out to me. You can find me. Um, you know where I am. And and let me know. And I'll, Who says And that? I'll help you. So thank you. That's pretty generous, Jill. Thank you. Because I know how, hard, how busy you are and how hard you work. Thank you. So, and that's our people. You know, I'm helping you and you're going to help the next guy. And then he's going to help the next guy. You know, there was a thing on the news the other day about um, people don't really realize the benefit of paying it forward. You think buying that one person coffee or buying that person's lunch behind you in the in the drive through um, makes a difference, but they have done studies that prove that you do that one good little task, it the, mm -hmm. the multiplication of that is phenomenal. It literally reduces, uh, releases endorphins in your body and yep. makes, you know, makes you feel good. Yep. You do that person and that person's going to do another person. And then it just, it really grows. It snowballs in a really, really good way. So I was getting teary eyed as I, and I'm, I'm not going to be careful because I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> but when I really sit back and think about our people and some of you have been with us for years and what we've all been through together and how we've all grown together and the deals we're doing, it's phenomenal. And I appreciate you guys, you know, and you guys say, you guys lovingly told me the other day, you know, thank you, you appreciate me. Well, I appreciate you right back. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. That's right. Thank you. Happy you could join us today. See, I'm gonna tear up right now. Five <laughs> days a week, you can find us here on The Land Academy Show. <laughs> join us next week for another interesting episode because you're not alone. 
and your real estate ambition. If you haven't watched it, I was pretty proud of it. I'll tell you right now, it was an hour, 20 minutes. It went by fast. It was so much great questions. I think the content was good. You helped me yeah. tweak the content. It was great. Um, some good screenshot examples of trolling. You really want to get a, a good feel about us. Yeah. I mean, that was a really good episode. If you're not sure about Land Academy, take some time and go watch that. And that will that will really answer a lot, a lot of, of people answer. Uh, you know, this is an open to the public situation. So mm -hmm. a lot of people had real basic, uh, good, really very good questions about, hey, well, how does this really work? What's it? How much money do I really yeah. need? Or can I do it with a full time job? Uh, that, yeah, real um, good basic questions. Things like that. And we answered them all. It was really great. We, we are, are Jack, Jack and Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows.